Hey, what's up, you reptilian space hybrids, and welcome to the Deck Build Challenge, where each episode two combatants face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, two C named hosts. On the top bar, we have Code. I am a big snake thing. Uh, <laughs> very nice. And below him, we have Das Chili One. I said a bow, chicken bow, wow. That's what my baby said. What does that have to do with beasts? Because beasts go bow, wow. <laughs> I mean, dogs do specifically, but most beasts, beasts do not. Mm. I mean, I guess e mm. either way. Yeah, we're doing we're doing mammals versus reptiles, which is actually a disguised way of a very old school sort of a uh, challenge we did. I, I used to do like uh, the different attrib or not attributes. What are they called? Types. Yep. The different types right. and sort of like a generic thing of them. Like what do warriors and spellcasters do without their a uh, archetypes to support them? And I haven't done one of those in a while, but uh, we needed an episode to fill things out, so I asked the $10 patrons if they had any suggestions, which is now a Patreon reward, by the way. If you join at $10, you could suggest ideas. And someone said, uh, to wait, try wait, this wait, one. Wait. I should probably look at who that was, actually, that suggested this. Next time we do this, all you $10 patrons needs to, need to suggest speed duels, yeah. so that way I can do speed duels. Lord of the Speed. Yeah, it's a Shagster. An interesting name. Shagster said generic beast versus generic reptile. And I was like, that sounded like an interesting idea. So yeah, we've got it. It's it's uh, Code is all reptiles. Chili is all beasts. You can use archetypal cards, but you're only allowed one per archetype. You can't make like an archetype deck. You just get like a perform a pal. In the form of Whip Snake. Not the Performer put, Pal is like a reptile based archetype anyway. You could put Ojama Green in, but you yeah. could not put any other Ojamas. You can and play... you would only ever put Green in because his head looks like a penis with an eye. I don't know what kind of penises you've been looking at, but I don't. What the hell is this? Dark this Alligator. Is the King Ghidorah of Alligators. Contribute this by tributing one reptile. When this card is tribute summoned, you could special summon alligator tokens up to the number of reptiles tributed. If this tribute summoned card is destroyed by battle or by an opponent's card effect while it's in a monster zone, add a reptile from your deck to your hand. Except dark, it can't search itself. Is that really like a big, big deal? All right, show me baby Apparently. raccoon. Nope. Nimble Malonga. <laughs> You've got some I would nimbles. Just like to point out that I would just like to point out that nimbles are technically an archetype. So is alligator. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't. He's not necessarily alligator. playing all the the nimbles. It's just Except it's just manga. That there's. I'm just saying. There's like one card that specifically lists uh, nimble, which makes it an archetype. Yeah. <laughs> I think we were talking it's about like the... nimble beaver. I think. There was an there was another uh, card you asked about, Chili, and you were like, "Is this an archetype?" I'm not sure if you there want was. to reveal it, or is that like part of your main strategy? Uh, I mean, I have no idea if it's even going to resolve it, but <laughs> uh, I am in fact playing the Sphinxes from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. Pyramid so got of Light. <laughs> Yep, Andro Sphinx, Sphinx to Leia, and Finny and the Great Sphinx. Snake Rain! Snake Rain! You had Yajiro Vader, of course. The most broken card ever. If you've ever seen GCD's masterpiece on that. He who controls Yajiro Vader controls the game. Is that fucking Venom? Yes, Venom. <laughs> Do 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 do, phenomena. Do 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 do. Phenomena. Damn, you got Utopia, the phenomena lightning over here. This is pretty nice. Twenty five, twenty five, two thousand. I thought this would be one sided on the side of beasts. So far, all they've done is gain life points. 
But we're good at that. Yeah. I mean, Momonga is. I don't think the rest of them are. My rat. Not the giant rat. The floaters. This is old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Once you remove all the archetypes and stuff, it just gets back to, like, card economy. So did you not play Obedience School, then? No. Why would I play Obedience School? (laughs) Okay, I was scared of that. (laughs) Summons beasts from the deck. You know what else summons beasts from the deck? I mean, I guess giant giant rat, rat. but only one at a time. (laughs) Moja? All right. Didn't you have one more giant rat to go through? It is time. I did have one more giant rat. Do you know what time it is, hard leg? Is it snake (laughs) deity? Well then. Vanamanaga. Do 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 do. She's got snake for hands. I don't trust that. Meanwhile, here comes King of the Beasts. Who has a hundred more? (laughs) Oh, who's more powerful? The first towers or a big spidery hairy boy? Uh. Show me damage equals reptile for a hundred. I wish. But you could just banish one and come back, yeah. Banish Yahiro Invader. Who does not look like a reptile. He looks like a squid. He's a kid now. He's a squid now. He's a kid. He's a squid. He's a kid. He's a squid. He's an echidna. Oh no. <laughs> but she came back. <laughs> you will run out of reptiles eventually. Not if it, not if he tops decks another snake rain. He he can't make it rain snakes. Snakes are not water. Then he could get big attack boost. Biggest one. At least you actually summoned her. I could put her on the thumbnail. Queen of the reptiles versus king of the beast. Who's strongest? That Uh, is a shame. Yes. You're just barely... I don't suppose you ran like MST or anything. Code? Uh, no. <laughs> the closed forest was too strong. A hundred for every monster in the graveyard. You just gotta fill that up with beasts. That's why I ran so many floaters. <gasps> Discount floater warehouse. You gotta float, or you'll get beaten to death by a goat. That's or how that works, right? Offerings to the snake deity. <laughs> well, there you go. That's MST, but for snakes. Yeah, I mean, Berserk Gorilla has to attack. He can't not look at him. He's too angry to stop. He ate that really, really spicy banana. (laughs) That sounds like some sort of lewd innuendo. Like, Does ah, it sound like one? Yes. My, Is it? Was it intended to be one? No. This man just act. He saw something yellow and banana shaped and was like, "Yeah, that's a banana," but it was in fact a pepper, and he couldn't handle it. Like ah, my boyfriend came over the other night, gave me a spicy banana. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Get the plague. Bubonic vermin. It's just a literal no. hamster. They say it's bubonic, but it's just a hamster. Like how they have to point out that you have to shuffle your deck afterwards. <laughs> it's old card, because that wasn't uh, something that was technically required by floaters back in the day. You didn't have to shuffle your deck, you just had to search. Interesting. Was there a card that was like, search and don't shuffle your deck? Um, I don't think there was, <laughs> but by just the rules, that wasn't required but they wanted it to be, and they eventually just said, nope, that's just what happens now. Yep. Back in the day, they just made cards text to remind you what to do. Stalling for game. Ironic that the... Yeah, this is just like... This is like a a, (laughs) a, uh, Jurassic thing, where the 
the little mammals are just spawning too fast and the giant dinosaurs can't eat them all. Although these aren't dinosaurs, these are reptiles of other descriptions. Dinosaurs are reptiles. Really? Idiot. Hane. <laughs> Dark reptile. How is that a beast? It's like a face with an axe. Neither one of those are beast-like. Big nose. It's got, it's got feathers. <laughs> Hane Hane is weird. He Hane Hane looks. <laughs> oh jeez. Big attack. Hane Hane looks like a political cartoon making fun of some group, and I don't know what group. Yeah. It's like from some another dimension. Oh, was that Mashalon or Ashalon? Look at that goofy-eyed fucker. Yes. Sticking his tongue out. He's got three stars on his back. Just like his card. Hey, here's Rock Sunrise. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. Oh, no. I mean, it's not going to be big enough. Just a 2,500. You think you're going to lower Venomanga? No. Maybe when she becomes Venom anime and then Venom Netflix adaptation, she'll be weak enough. <laughs> oh, I tried. Puns. Comment in the comments if you enjoy puns. Comment in the comments if you comment in the comments. Ah. So are we actually going to see a hyper Venom counter placed in this duel? Yes. A single Hyper Venom counter! The question is, do you play H-Heated? Or Big Bang Shot? No. Um, it wouldn't matter either way, because it's unaffected by the... Uh, oh, yeah. Can't be targeted or affected. Can't be affected by anything. It's just a big dummy dumb. I guess if you played, like, Windstorm of Ataqua, you could move everything into attack mode. Windstorm, I think, only moves stuff into defense. Oh, zero gravity? Final attack orders. That'll work. Haha. -ha. But you don't have one unless you happen to play Jar of Avarice. Shuffle your Which... bubonics back so you can keep cycling through them. Exactly. Put back all of your nimbles. Oh. Beast Striker. That seems like it would be anti beast support. Special summon a moja. It's just beating beasts with a club. Are either one of these a tuner? No. No. Okay. Just I like... think the white thing that looks kind of like mojo is a tuner. Just a lot of attack position monsters. It is. <laughs> He's cooking something up. Soon I will cook with gas. I For mean, now I am cooking with oranges. I mean, if you keep this up, he's gonna have a straight, uh, whatchamacallit, he's gonna win by the effect of Vena Venomanaga. For the first, it'll be the first time anyone's ever done that. In the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm pretty sure even, like, graveyard rules, no one has ever won with Venomanaga. Graveyard so rules? coded into EDO Pro. Or playground rules. Yeah, they didn't even bother to code it. Victory by effect of question marks. What is it? Does it have to... Um, let's see. It just has to inflict battle damage, so... If you can destroy over the beast striker... <laughs> and then attack for directly... <laughs> Okay, defense position. Defense position. Def <laughs> defense position. This is where you, like, Azura Priest and attack everything once. Like, that's not a reptile! Tra trap trick. Alright. Is it booby trap E? Is that what you're going for? <laughs> trap trick for booby trap E for, I... um, fairy box. Back to the front. Okay. 
Not what I was expecting, but whatever. So you get back your crocodile or Ashalon or whatever if you want that. Whip snake? Phenomena? Yeah, I guess phenomena. Phenomena. Phenomenon and then offerings to the snake deity for a second phenomenon. <laughs> Do you even play two in the deck? I'm not sure why you would. No. Oh. I do not. Select one non tuner, destroy it during the end phase. All right. But you didn't tribute summon and, anything, so no tokens. And now my for my signature monster. Gentlemander! I knew you were gonna gentlemander lock me. That's meta in speed duels. He's so gentle! Such man! Wow! Yeah, we're doing doge. Such man. We're gonna see Such it. Mander. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuning in to a truly historic Yu-Gi-Oh event. You have to tell your grandkids... Well, I mean, none of you are ever going to have kids, because, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! and women and such, you know. You don't mate, but... You know! <laughs> you'll tell someone's grandkids about this! You'll be interviewed as a I got cat of ill omen! <laughs> We're going to stack Pyramid of Light! <laughs> Pyramid of Light for the turn that never comes! Because Venomanaga gets a third Hyper Venom counter! And the duel reaches its end! Victory by the effect of Victory. Anominaga! <laughs> you did it, Code! The world is your snake! Hiss! Hiss in the chat! <laughs> I might be a little Do you overexcited. Have any spell trap removal? Legitimate question. <laughs> mm, this is so a I fan. ran a card as a, I ran a card as a meme, but then it never came off. <laughs> All right. I mean, Chili could theoretically get higher than. I mean, he was higher for a while. I'm gonna save that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, going into siding. It's the best two out of three. Chili, do you have a side deck? I do. Okay. I'm just figuring out what I need to put in and out of it. A good question. If you have those Wobokus, that would be a great time. It's a good way to uh, stall against Phenomenaga, because it affects you, the player, not, not her. Okay, I'm going first. Alright. Set up the Whopper Hot Pop Lock. Wat hopper lock. Whatever that means. Okay. It, it's something strong to do start. with insects, so. Strong, strong start. You can't even manage the T set, Chili. Just a single set. What are you talking about? This is the strongest possible play. This card could be anything. It could be anything. It could be Beast Marshmallow. Whip Snake. Giggity. Nope. <laughs> oh no, it's her name! Go away. I would have Mama never known you. that that was a beast. Yeah. I would have never known. I completely forgot. That was like, is that in Duel Links now? Or yet? I feel like that's something that should be in Duel Links. As like one of the few removal options. Moja. Oh, didn't he make a uh, no, Minecraft? <laughs> uh, but uh the reason i'm like oh yeah hey i was like oh yeah hey Hain's a beast and i thought about him uh based off uh simo's progression series uh my friends and i have been doing weekly tournaments in the same style oh, uh, going through every main set advertising and, uh, another Yu -Gi -Oh's, Yu -Gi tubers channel on my channel yeah what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I mean, I could censor you. You could, but like, that'd be rude. Power. Yeah, but it's rude to a rude person. That's fine. 
Anyway, co- go ahead and continue. You've been doing that, and I guess you've used Hain Hain to uh, annihilate the yeah, uh, Hain Hain uh, is some of the best removal in the game. Watch this big brain. Watch this big brain play. Got a whip snake. Gonna whip snake my king yeah. of the beasts. I like to believe his tail just comes out and like slides across his face and he shivers and suddenly his attack goes way down. He doesn't whip you with it. I it's just like seen unspeakable horrors tail. <laughs> it's sensual and creepy. That bow tie holds sinister secrets you can't understand. Bow ties in general holds hold sinister secrets. Yeah. Why do you think I use Anyone them to with hold? a bow tie is evil. It's just a fact. Well, we're gonna watch the sunrise. <laughs> but he came back. Good old king of the beast. Got magic jammer. No, but whip snake's effect is a quick effect. He's a quickie. Wakacha. That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird, there's no parentheses. It's like from an age before they existed. Which is weird, because uh, this is... Whip Snake was still made post Problems of Avant-Garde text. Yeah. They added that later, because it was like, oh yeah, we should probably make that more clear. Ipria, that card's banned. Is it? No. <laughs> I was gonna say. It is kind of weird. I'd expect this to be used more, but it doesn't seem much play. Just like, it's just a free draw. It's just it's a reptile. It's literally upstart reptile. <laughs> Gotta use your normal summon on it. Yeah, I mean, that didn't stop people with card card D, though. You mean cardi card? Cardi, 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 cardi B. You seem to have very few monsters in this deck code. I am, uh, admittedly, not drawing well. Su- surprisingly enough, I, I, I have a full monster list. Just I haven't summoned half of them. <laughs> it's like a bunch of traps, a bunch of cards in hand. It's mostly Whip Snake and this little mustachioed feller. Well, at least if you I, Ayers I, Rock Sunrise you now, nice you could attack into the, uh, the I- Iperia or whatever. <laughs> He can whip you around, but it won't be enough. I'm expecting a Yugi poop of of Peria. I'll consider it. I don't know, my latest one, I made one of uh, Jet Synchron, like, just before it got banned. Where Jet Synchron is all sad and crying, and now people are, like, losing their shit because the ban list came out today. And I'm like, I think I should start doing Yugi poops on any card I think will be banned. That way they become relevant. Damage equals reptile. Damage always equals reptile. So what, do you have a 700 attack reptile? No. I mean, well, yes, but... (laughs) Are you just going to summon another Aperia? Does it? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Free card. Go plus one. Oh, that's broken. I could have, I could have summoned Phenomenon, but... <laughs> do, 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 do. Phenomenon. So you're both just trying to fill up the graveyard with, with animals so that your big animal can get big. Yes. It's just nice. in the case of Code, his big animal is actually big, and yours is just a big hairy closet on legs. <laughs> well, at least closets have claws. Yeah. <laughs> Claw. Tribute summon. Tribute summon. It doesn't have enough code. Oh, okay. Offering to the snake deity. Boom. boom. No, hey, hey. Are you playing Hade, Hade? No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Rise it's the, of the, the snake nobleman deity. man-eater bug. Well. Chonky boy. Oh, jeez. Snake I think it's rain. loose. Well, is that is that I, game? I got two Andro Sphinx in my hand. 
I don't think you played this properly. I don't know. Sphinx. You underestimated the strength of reptiles. I think we all did. I didn't think this would be. I didn't think this. I'm would just happen getting at all. really good hands. Like I run trap trick because in testing, in like the five duels that I did for testing, I didn't draw rise, uh, rise of the snake deity in my opening hand a single time. Well, there's my third Andro Sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> Give, give him one more turn, Code. The snake deity, I mean, Andro Sphinx isn't going to harm him. You and your 60 well, card The good decks. news is, you don't have, don't have to worry about finding your god. <laughs> you got it. The fourth Andro Sphinx? How did that happen? Ah, <laughs> oh, Sphinx Talia, it's don't nice to see know. you. I don't even know. I don't even own four of these. <laughs> Go ahead and play four. It's not like any any judge is going to call you on it. Well, big number. Also, all the recovery. Unless there's a beast type uh, kaiju. Oh, hey. The one Tsuchinoko you can play. The danger Tsuchinoko. <laughs> yeah. Hypers, rebirth. Ah, but gonna draw another card. Gonna go into that third snake rain. Yeah. <laughs> draw a card. Get a third snake raid. Um, let's see. Let's see. No. Hope you lost it's some attack. Waking the dragon. Waking the you, dragon. You put worm zero in your extra deck just off the off chance it work. No, did, I ran Gaga Gagigo with the Risen. Did you just switch? Oh! On, did you just switch Aperia's attack and defense? Yes. <laughs> well then. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Who needs Hyper Venom counters? Attack for 68, unless you've got a gentle mander of your own. Well, <laughs> it seems the reptilians are, are there to take over. The, uh, the mammalian world. We lose everything. What else can we be? A very strong showing from Mr. Code. Chili, would you like would you like a chance at redemption? Would you like to try to alter your deck and see if you could make it function slightly better? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. We'll do one more. We'll have a bonus duel in here. Try to get a little bit more. People like the long episode, so we'll try that out. We'll be back in just a second. I said a bow, chicka bow wow. That's what my baby said. Mow, mow, mow. And my heart starts pumping in. Okay, here we are back in the the, the third duel. Pity duel. Chili has removed Andro Sphinx in an attempt to make his deck better. The movie was wrong. Those aren't the ultimate wizards in, in terms of attack and defense. Prohibition. Ah, prohibition. <laughs> He <laughs> do prohibition on Venomanaka. If I can spell it. <laughs> Why did you just hit Rise of the Snake Deity? Because I want you to be able to use the trap. You can use the trap. I mean, the trap's useless if you can't summon anything with it. Wait, that wouldn't that just mean that I can't? Wait, cards are really feel now. Does that actually make me not able to use Venomonaga, or does that just make it so I can't uh, put um, Hyper Venom counters on the field? I have no idea how that works. It's a very strange thing. Because it's because it says cards with their names and their effect cannot be uh, cannot be used. Yeah, I'm not cards sure if summoning a their... monster is the same as using it. Why Especially if it's summoned by exist? another effect. How come you didn't summon a Moja from your deck? It's free real estate. Because then I just have a Moja. Snake raid. <laughs> I'll just send Venomaga to the graveyard. Then I don't have to worry about her. Exactly. I'm surprised you discarded uh, Tatsuchi Noko. The d -d danger, Suchi no go. The danger, Ogo Pogo. 
Is that DuckTales, but with dangers? Yes. Yes. Snick. We'll be making dangers. Woo. You know, the face on the Snick is actually looks like he's looking at Beast Striker. He's up there with his huge hammer twice the size of his body, wearing pants with a belt for some reason, and two Suchinoko is just like... How else you gonna keep your pants up if you don't wear a belt? Why he's a beast? Why is he wearing pants at all? He should just have a big hairy portion like most beasts do. Nine hundred. Bada bingo, bada bingo. Man, this whip snake is just like the most powerful thing in ye olde Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> He's done, like, more damage than any other monster besides Benaminaga. <laughs> you know, it occurs to me. I put Trap Trick in my deck, and I can't use it, because I only have one copy of the trap I was trying to search. <laughs> that's, that's not how Trap Trick works, buddy. Found that out the hard way. So I guess I know what that set card is, then. Yep. <laughs> Lightning Vortex! Lightning Vortex! Discarding oh, no. the giant rat. I'll switch... Quick, Snake! Go into defense mode! Having high defense will save you from the lightning. Interesting. What's that other card in your hand that you didn't discard that and summon a rat to get in for attack? That's what I would have done. Hmm. Well, you're not me, though. Oshalon. Because you're not me. No one understands. What, what I would do, do to change, change my, my life. life for just one day. I don't know this meme. I just it's like that Ashalon comes a down song here. From, the... from Yugamo the Movemo. Oh, okay. Yes. Ashaman is like, don't even think about attacking anyone but me. You gotta fight me, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, closed forest. <laughs> The forest is closed. You can't enter. Go away. <laughs> okay, everyone. I have a, I have created the gentlemander lock. You have not. Yeah, your opponent cannot attack any monsters except for gentlemander, and Ashalon says you can only attack him. Oh, never mind. You have the gentle Ashalon lock. That's well, fine. I have a hyena. Any number of hyenas? That just power creeps bubonic vermin to shit. Oh, if you could add it back to your deck before your opponent, uh, before your opponent finishes uh, attacking or whatever, then you could get three out of the deck. Hmm. I don't uh, think so that's how that works. I was, I was testing this against the Cybers AI, and its field spell just shuffles cards back into the deck, so they were just <laughs> incapable of dealing with my hyenas because they kept shuffling them back in. <laughs> because I guess it just doesn't understand how to say no. So see, can, can you actually mm. attack? No. Oh, how do you know? What if this doesn't work I the can way you read. think it is? Because it does work the way you think it is. Okay, there we go. However, it wouldn't work with two Ashalons, because I could select either one. How do you know you can't select either of these? Because Gentlemander says, accept this card, and Ashalon says, accept Ashalon. Yeah. So you can attack Ashalon. And Gentlemander Wix. You can just attack both of them if you feel like it. At the same time, no. Wait, Whoa. that's not a that's not a gentlemander. That's a that's a gentle uh that's a gentle axolotl. Oh, I think. I think axolotls are, are a subset of salamanders. Also I like how you, you, you started this strong with the prohibition of Venomanga. And what you should have prohibited was Ashalon. <laughs> <laughs> or Gentlemander. Well, that breaks it. You can't summon a monster with more than 1,400 attack. <laughs> Normal summon Ashalon, the third one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that play gave me COVID. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. It's not even Ashalon, it's Ashalion. <laughs> Ashalion. His name is Ashalion. Alright. 
<laughs> you want to give it one more try, Chili, or do you give up? I'm. I, I can keep going. Let's try it. Let's try one more. I have I a power see... through. There's an actual good card in my deck that I have just not seen this entire time. Beast can probably do something. I'd like to believe. I can't. I can't believe he's like, oh, I didn't summon my giant invincible thing, and you lost to Ashalon Pass. <laughs> I just couldn't get any monsters. <laughs> and the one time I did, I'm like, oh, it's probably more important that I clear these things with lightning vortex. Yeah. Should have kept your, your, your nimble or your giant rat that had 50 more attack. Or there we go. Berserk gorilla, big strong. Strongest man, spicy banana out of. T I guess we should tell people when we when we do challenges like this that that replicate old school Yu-Gi-Oh, we ban like any generic like uh, costless destruction. So no like dark hole, no Raigeki, no harpy's feather storm, or harpy's feather duster, no um, mirror force, no torrential, no solemns. Which is why Chili is playing lightning vortex. <laughs> Uh, I was specifically told uh, in the DMs about this conversation, and I quote, uh, if you use something without Beast in the name, it should be unique, like Dust Tornado. Uh, I figured Lightning Vortex figure fit that description. <laughs> yeah, close enough. It's not something you often see. It makes it more of a cost. It's something you would see with this era, where it's just like, I've got, where, like, the strongest card in this game, apparently, is fucking something that swaps attack and defense. Sword and shield, too powerful. <laughs> With snake, too broken. <laughs> it's that top hat. He's like top cat. I know. mean, look at that face. Look at that face. Benny the ball. You... Officer Dibble. Are you a cop? You gotta tell me if you're a cop. <laughs> My forest is spiritual. Ah, that ah. might actually help you. Except you want to get cards in the summon... graveyard. You summon Yajiro I Vader. Summon Yajiro and Vader. Why? <laughs> it's instantly destroyed. If it's not summoned to the main. <laughs> You're just, you're just giving him a little hand there. Just a little handy on the side. Just like, there you go, buddy. You're fine. I do not want Code giving me a handy. Can we please not? It's not that kind of handy. I did not consent to this. It's more like Handy the, uh, the Risk of Rain 2 survivor. Handy the Manny. All right, what? Well, <laughs> handy. handy. Handy isn't... Handy isn't in Risk of Rain yet. It's he's in one. Oh, he's in one. Okay. Risk of Rain 1. I like that one better. Risk of Rain 2 is alright, but I prefer the, the 2D. My favorite Risk of Rain is Severe. You think, you think you're funny okay. for that? You think you're yes. a little ha-ha? Yes, I do. I thought that was great. Well, I'm reducing your pay for that. <laughs> you get slightly less... What? Gonna switch my attack and defense? Gonna switch my attack and defense, Yep. Your 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 Tatsunoko's days are numbered. Giant rat too strong. Uh oh. Does Code lose connection? Okay. He went. So <laughs> gonna gonna let me do fifty more damage. <laughs> Wait, Whip Snake and uh, and um, that Destiny Hero card broken. Defender. No, no, the uh, the one that uh, resets your monster to its original attack points. I don't know which one that is. The the level seven fusion monster that came out during fucking Art Dragoon. The Dystopia? original Dragoon. Dystopia no, guy? Dystopia guy. Yes, ah. Dystopia guy. Hmm. Although Whipsnake with Defender is funny. 2700 defense? Nah, 2700 attack. 
Double with let me snake. Show, let me show you my big shield gardener. <laughs> You, cha- you could change your attack to 900 and then change it back to 1700. <laughs> now the question is, how is this going to resolve? Okay, it's just going to switch me back. <laughs> and nothing of nothing of consequence was accomplished. <laughs> All right, Co, just attack. Yeah, what? Summon. King of the Feralins! King of the Feralins! Oh! The only reptile Ixie, I'm pretty sure. Nope, there's also Gaga Giga the Risen. Oh, yeah. What's the rest of your extra deck? Stuff you can't actually summon? Stuff with Waking the Dragon, yes. Ah, okay. Like Worm's Zero. Aha, I'm not destroyed once per turn. Yeah, you should have kept out your two whips. But you'll still take the damage. You would have done more. That seems counterproductive to your closed. Would have gotten another giant rat. Seems counterproductive to your closed forest strategy. Like, don't you want monsters in the graveyard? Wild nature's release. I have a big rat. I am, in fact, the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Go ahead. Activate the best rat problem. Bake my cake. I have nothing to lose. I've already lost the DBC. (laughs) I didn't get to make Thinian. My life is over. It has no meaning. I'm going to go drown myself in a big bucket of ice cream when this is over. And I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm going to die by just shitting my brains out. No, don't do it. (laughs) I can only summon it, period. Look, Chili has his AirPods and he can't hear us. <laughs> I don't have AirPods. Oh, no! They're expensive. He can't hear us. He has there are cheaper alternatives that are better. Raycons? Uh, no, Raycons are also not good. There are even cheaper alternatives than Raycons. Oh. I'm sorry I ruined your chance of getting a Raycon sponsor. I don't. I wasn't going to take hard one. Like... You weren't going to take a Raycon sponsor? Probably not. I mean, maybe if they sent me some free Raycons Raycons. and I liked them, I might be like, hey, these are pretty nice. They probably would. It's probably like, hey, do these, and if you like them, do a a sponsor bit. Possible. Manga! You know, I was expecting that monster to have more... (laughs) You know, more points, but okay. Whatever, nerd. You're actually None destroying it. Don't you know you're just helping him code? You're unlocking the code to more squirrels. I've already won the BBC. Think about what your if... nuts, man. <laughs> Whatever the hell I'm among us. Think about the nuts. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's Mojo Jojo. Mojo. Mojo Jojang. <coughs> cough. No coughing. It's illegal. He dies. King of the feral beasts. He doesn't search a reptile at all. Gentlemen. <laughs> I have been locked. Who cares? Uh, Attack gentle anyway. Lock. Eh, eh. <laughs> judges, judges, my opponent is attempting to physically harass me. Good. Judges. You deserve it. <laughs> judges, he's making lewd grunting sounds. I don't like it. That's technically not against the rules. Uh-huh. <laughs> what you going to prohibition, huh? What yeah. you going to do, huh? What you going to do? You're not the only one who played prohibition, I guess. I, I ran this in my side deck in case he played uh, Obedience School. Wait, what did you declare? <laughs> King of the Beasts. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get... See you how you like it! You can't get another one. It's fine. Code can't deal with this one at the moment. <gasps> it's fine. He has Rise of the Dog Deity. Tribute one beast. Destroy two cards on the field. It's just called Super Rush Recklessly. Oh. 
Toad, what are you doing? Taking 2,000 damage? Don't you know For which damage equals number reptile? is littler than the other number? Oh, it's damage. Okay. Damage equals reptile. The damage is equivalent to reptile. <laughs> yep. <laughs> whippity, 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 snake. Did you remove the Venomon, the Venomon stuff just so you could beat him down with nothing but whip snakes? No. <laughs> I, mean, I have it in my deck. I'm just not getting to it very quickly. You could switch his attack. My phenomenons are in the graveyard. I have a lot of monster born esque cards, and that's usually my plan, but I'm not getting any of them. Ah. Uh... Aha, but. You still take the damage. Now you can't attack, and your attack is low. <laughs> but I have so much defense point. It's like when they cut your arms off and then put you in jail. It's like when they take away your gun and then cut your arms off. You've been disarmed twice. Double disarmed. You've been, puts on sunglasses, disarmed. Yeah. I'm bleeding out! Are you going to pass your turn? Oh. I tried and then it stopped me. <laughs> well, you had to make your thing. I still think, I can't even remember if this was like a real uh, CSI Miami thing. Or if it was just, like, a joke that someone did. Where it was, like, they find a body in a uh, in a meat freezer, like a meat locker. And there's, like, a big old slab of beef on them. And they're like, what happened? Like, oh, this, <laughs> this giant slab of beef fell from the second story. Crushed their windpipe instantly. He's like, oh, I guess the stakes were too high. <laughs> 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 my my cat came and sat on my lap at that joke so either it was really good or he thought i needed comforting from it oh for a second there for a second there i just thought your cat came from that joke <laughs> just all over the floor i gotta clean it up now it's like you gotta you gotta watch out where your paws is there buddy <laughs> tell a funny my cat came so I guess that's a good joke. <laughs> it seemed to like it. Unreasonably so. <laughs> that's an alien monster. Yes, and that's my only one. I mean, you still take the damage. Equals reptile. <laughs> uh, all right. Why don't you just swap the attack and then just, like, attack into him over and over again? Punish him for keeping that in attack mode. <laughs> you draw, okay, I'm the, trying the, to see if I can get out Phenomenaga. The duel has already gone off for you. I thought you- why didn't you summon it with, uh, Return to the Front? Isn't it already in your graveyard? It. Yeah, it is. It, I... Oh. oh. I'm a moron, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, you know, we did this fourth duel because the other ones were so fast and now this one's dragging on forever. Good co quality content, Joe. Quality Just content. The quality content. We should have ended it with Ocelon uh, Turbo. Now we shouldn't have. <laughs> At least they're facing different directions. So maybe, maybe they're not friends. God, Link, Lizard. It's letting them set monsters, and each Link one has to be destroyed cut. twice. You're never going to be able to actually win this code. You have three back to the fronts, and you you wasted two, so you could draw one with Epira. I'm fine. <laughs> it's raining snakes. Purple snakes, purple snakes. Well, at this point, code. Now there, he's just there's gonna, divine serpent. Again. He's just gonna deck out. <laughs> Cause you can't beat him now. You have no what? 
Oh, it's just another one of those. All right. Hold on, I need to count. <laughs> one. You're gonna make a Link Six, Link God Lizard. Lord of the the lazy lames. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What is this? Anata. Anata. <laughs> whoa. All right then. Jeez, that that escalated quickly. <laughs> that went from zero to a uh, literally a zero you to a hundred and thirteen. Take the damage. Thirteen thousand. Holy shit! I thought we were gonna be here forever, and you're like, "Nah, dog. I got a, I got a lizard with a million heads. Thirteen thousand attack." All right. Well, our reptilian overlords are clearly the best. Code, did you have any final words here about this? I expected to lose this DBC. <laughs> Chili, how about you? Shout Zoo King Alpha is going to be a meta relevant card when it comes out. Unfortunately, it appears to be allergic to being drawn. <laughs> you got your deck's too big yet again. Zoo King Alpha, that would have been such a good card. I played it at three, and I played every single floater that I could, and I just never saw it. It just doesn't <laughs> exist. It's not real, apparently. Doesn't doesn't believe in itself. Well, maybe there's time for revenge. Either way, we had enough fun here. Hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, good luck, and eat a gun. And have fun. Eat gun. Eat, eating a gun is like a synonym for like suicide chili. No, guns yeah. are made of licorice, no. apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> says Petticoat Junction. I, I, I certainly hope so. Hard Lake Joe does not condone suicide. Please call a hotline if you're feeling depressed or do not put a gun in your mouth. That is very bad. Unless the gun is made of licorice, in which case do in fact put the gun in your mouth so that way you can taste the tasty licorice. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks again for watching through the whole video. Hope you're having a fine day. This is the end slate, where I give my sincere thanks to all the patrons for making this show possible, but especially the high tier patrons who have gone beast mode on their donations. They are Davon Crushin, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Tyler Laughlin, Night Fang, 01503, Ariane Zwerz, Austin Glover, Chris W, Montry, Aaron McNatt, Leaf Blady, Coolmaster X, Daniel Frowsing, Lucas Geardis, Quintingent, Diotic, Mr. Eiffel, Dancing Joker, Buster Blader, Matt, Kirvin, and King underscore Zirmus. It is thanks to snake deities like them that I can make super videos like this. If you would like to join them and be listed off at the end of each video, the Patreon link is on the screen and in the description. And this episode's secret question of the day is, what is your favorite beast type monster? Or your favorite reptile type monster? Either one will work. Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, stay frosty, Legos.